All right, welcome back, boys and girls. It's another episode of Bait Experience. Yes, sir. Whatever floats the boat. Correct. Wow, I'm deep. Pero yung first mo kasi sabi niya, la first time. <laughs> yeah. Yung first time mo, hindi mo makakalimutan yun. Diba? Doon tayo na-divergenize sa uh, podcast. Oo, oh, nag-uong. <laughs> Alright, welcome back boys and girls. It's another episode of my experience 25th episode mga kapatid. So we have a very special guest tonight. Uh, later, we introduce natin. And for those who are tuning in to this episode, don't forget to follow and like us in Facebook and Instagram. And we're hyping it up in YouTube. Just search by at experience and click w- watch and subscribe pala. <laughs> Hindi click subscribe and then watch. Pero okay lang. Uh, just search by at experience. And tonight's ep- special episode is brought to you by our friends and sponsors. Since day one, to bombing with a our legendary DIY mixes always available in 350 ml and in 500 ml. Do check out the bombing with a Facebook page for the selection of the bombing with a drinks and order by messaging them. New drinks are up by trying them up. Uh, try them out with over 1,000 bottles sold. Cheers and bottom stop to the bombing with a na try ng guest natin mamaya. Yes. Kaya kwento niya rin yan. Next is Health and Beyond. Uh, are you passionate about health and wellness? Health and Beyond PH shares knowledge and information and brings pure and natural options for you to have the healthiest version of yourself and live a more responsible, balanced, and healthy daily life. Napakabait na rin. Di ba? Follow them in Facebook. Just search for Health and Beyond PH or contact them over at 0917 831-3662. Look for Ena, by the way, or Daryl for promos and packages. All right, guys. Thank you for some sponsors natin. Eh. And introduce ko na yung guest natin. Pero napaspecial nito. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Pero introduce ko na yung topic natin ngayon. Tatal natin is hospitality intensity. We all know that 2020 has been really tough for everyone. But, uh, And certain in this, like hospitality, it's, it has been a very intense year, and that's why in Thailand, and, and it's one of the most challenging years for them. Uh, probably uh, the biggest that totally unexpected, right? Eh, talagang big deal, magzak. And uh, we all know what happened to Shangri La. Like those are the bigger organizations before, like Shangri La. After uh, X number of years serving, very recent si Legend Villas, uh, uh, 28 years, mga tiga club, sobrang anin. Napagstay pang ako dun eh. So, uh, we're here to discuss and uh, uh, our special guest tonight uh, will share some stories uh, about the past years and uh, or the past year uh, or 2020 oh, hotel yeah, industry. Oh, kung ano mang yeah. nangyari dyan. Ano? Oh, actually, ano na siya eh? Normal na eh, Barry. Normal. Ano na eh? Ito naman tayo sa limang piso sa new normal. But anyway, let's introduce our guest, Mr. Bill Salanios. Sir, hi, hi po. guys. Hi, Bill. Good evening, good evening. Thank you, thank you guys for having me here tonight. It's a pleasure. So, kumusta? So, uh, Bill, uh, you're the training and quality manager of Should I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hotel it's okay. or, uh, ah, yeah, of Hyme Hotel. So, one of the biggest hotels in Manila, by the way. Nakikita nyo sa Makati, ah, by the way. Hotel. Napaka, ano. Yun yung may swimming yes, pool sa gitna, eh. Hindi mo makakaligta ka dyan swimming pool niya. Yes, oh, oh, pag na-traffic ka sa Makati, ah, makakita ka mara nagsiswimming dyan, eh. Oh, oh right. <laughs> Kaya usually traffic sa Makati, ah, kasi the hotel, kasi yung, yung swimming pool is overlooking. So, pag medyo naka-bikini ka or medyo naka-chunks ka lang and then you're swimming. <laughs> may mga tumatabi. Mga... Ano yun? Ma- ma- may mga... Pero ano? ikaw lang yung nasa daan. It... <laughs> <laughs> True, yeah. Anyway, so, uh, uh, Bill here will share some stories. Actually, siguro let's start with uh, the obvious part of uh, uh, the discussion, which is uh, the challenges of... Uh, COVID-19 pandemic. We all mm-hmm. know that it has been uh, very challenging. Kamusta ba si I'm Hotel? And ano yung naging challenge? Or can you walk us through challenges that you've gone through the past year? All right. Um, well, it's actually not only about hospitality, uh, like for hotel accommodation. It's been very tough, especially for the entire uh, tourism industry comprises of... Um, Airline industry, mm-hmm. basically, hotels, ganyan, restaurants even, they're very much affected of the situation. Correct. So it's, it's been very, very tough for everybody because we're trying to survive until now. In fact, um, sobrang daming nawala ng work because mm-hmm. uh, we're, uh, a lot of the people from our, uh, from our industry have been displaced or they've been, um, um, tawag dito, 
na na post yung kanilang schedules or they were uh, placed into somewhere uh, that they didn't apply to because they don't have choice like they were assigned to a different task different job and we can't do anything about it because of course we can't choose job right now you know what i'm saying so it's been it's been a hard year for us for for most of the hotel years in in the industry and particularly in the tourism industry mm. so started march when actually it started nung pinatubo kasi ay sorry the the taal kasi ah, yeah. it started in tagaytay diba like a lot of hotels in tagaytay most of them closed temporarily closed because of the pande uh, because of the uh, the taal diba yung yung asphalt so mga bog yeah we have uh, i have few friends who work in some of the hotels there they they closed temporarily some in batangas So that was around February if I'm not mistaken. So mm. yon and then early March naririnig na namin yung balita that um that covid is uh getting ano eh parang a lot of people are getting it. But of course um uh our government's trying to save the industry and uh ayaw pa nila i-close because that's uh, one of the major sources of our income in in the Philippines and especially here in Makati a lot. I mean in my area specifically I mean, we cannot close down that immediately because um, and dami and daming nakas and daming umaasa with the with the industry. Mm. So March started March 16 that we have decided also to temporarily close. And when we say temporarily close, we're not sure as to when we are going to resume the operations. Imagine the feeling of uh, being one of the employees, de ba? Parang you are not certain. The management. Mm also is not certain as to when we are going to come back in the industry or when are we going to be operationalized so it's i know eh, um, on my on, on especially me I, as as hr uh, part of my job is of course scope up with employees uh syempre tinatanong natin kung kumusta sila on what would be their feedback if ever we're going to close this is prior to closing eh. um syempre tong una hindi sila ano Um, hindi sila okay. And some of them says naman na okay sila pero when they ask the, always the question when, di ba? That's the hardest part. That's the hardest part. Extra challenging for you eh. Kasi you have to talk to the people na uh, there's a chance talaga na kasi kahit ikaw uh, you're still, there's the, that, there's that level of uncertainty uncertainty na uh, and paano mo i-deliver yung message na yun to them? Right. Di ba? <laughs> Actually, yes, that's that's ano eh, um my job is uh, technically uh, I'm part of the management team already of mm. of I'm Hotel and sempre if you're one of the managers na parang you are one of the people that your staff or that the hotel staff will look forward to when it comes to answering these kinds of questions and it's really hard for us you know it's really hard for us because we're also employees eh, correct you know? We're also employees, and we're also um, feeling the same. But we cannot ask anyone. But our, diba? we can't because we're already there. We're 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 the ones who should answer our our colleagues, our our supervisors, our rank and file employees. As to yun yah, kung kailan kayo yung bubuka. So the management has decided to to temporarily close the hotel. So if you guys are familiar with I'm On and Spa, yes. I mean, I'm not bragging, but of course, uh, uh, I'm Onsen Spa is the number one spa in Chip Advisor, and we've we've uh, we have a lot of guests on a daily basis. So it's hard because on that on that day when we close, a lot of bookings have been um, uh, tawo dito refused. Even Antidote oh. Bar, Antidote oh, Bar, which is uh, yes, the jellyfish bar in Poblacion, the only and first <laughs> jellyfish bar in Poblacion, na. Ang hirap when when guests are walking in, de ba? Sabi mo, sorry sir, we're already closed. So we announced we announced to the staff na we announced to the staff na um, we, we are going to resume the operation when the government sees na okay na ulit si Philippines or si tourism industry. And until now we're still hanging, mm-hmm. you know. So only few staff were reporting because of course um, we need engineering, we need housekeeping mm-hmm. for maintenance. And we need uh, security, so we still have a few people who are reporting during March to um, uh, 
uh, April, May. Because, of course, we have to, ano, eh, we have to take care of the building. Because, again, as I mentioned, hindi namin alam eh, kung kailan, kung kailan kayo magbubukas. And the hotel has to be ready all the time. So, okay. nag-close kami. And then, fortunately though, fortunately, may mga bookings naman na dumadating during the ECQ time. ECQ about March 16 until um, until April, until June. Mm-hmm. Until June. Yeah, until June. So may mga booking si hotel. I'm sure other hotels also have mga BPOs. Swerte din ng BPOs though because their uh, companies talagang super supportive. Kasi they were assigned to a specific hotel tapos din sila nakatira for three months, for two uh-huh. months, ganyan. Five star so yun yung... Uh-huh. And five-star hotel. True, yes, uh-huh. yes. Yun yung naging bread and butter namin when we were closed. That's when also, since prior to uh, prior to becoming an HR or prior to uh, handling training and quality here at I'm Hotel, I was also doing sales. Hmm. So, yun nga, I was one of the lucky persons naman, of course, to, to help the management seek for these bookings and ensure na may operation pa rin kahit paano si hotel. But still, it's sad because my colleagues are not here. You know, yeah. it's, not, it's not the way it used to be. Di ba? Mm-hmm. It's not the way. Yeah. It, I mean, it happens if we have listeners from the hospitality industry right now, I'm sure they would feel what I'm feeling. That it's not the way it used to be, basically. The way we, the way we operate, the way we do the... It's basically new normal na talaga for us. Mm. And it's Agreed. going to be a while. Wala pa talaga yes. Klaro, yeah. <clears throat> yes, yes. It's, yeah, until now... Alam mo pag naisip ko na walang plan sa government. I mean, not, I'm not saying they don't have plan for it, but like, the plans are not... Way. Yes, the uh, the plans are not concrete because uh, from time to time, um, nagbabago, especially mm. now there's new variant, diba? Yeah. So there are stricter policies that they are Correct. implementing, which affects not only the hospitality, but also the tourism in general. Yon. Mm. And, you know, uh, like what you mentioned kanina, um, uh, Iman, it's, it saddens me because I used to work with Makati Shangela before working mm. at I'm Hotel. And... Yes, and they've been a pillar oh, talaga. Yeah. They've been a pillar oh, in, in the industry. Like, when you say Shangri-La, dude, we're the standards. Oh, so, yeah, yeah. Uh, we are the standards. Nasa ka ba? Shangri-La ko. Actually, bago mo maiisip yung yeah. Edsa Shang, bago mo maiisip yung BGC Shang, di ba? Makati Shang muna maiisip. Mga nasa ka Shang, oh, yung mas Makati, hindi. Sa iba. Di ba? Yeah. Makati yeah. kagad yeah. muna eh. So, um, yeah, it's... It, it, it saddens me rin kasi nga, uh, my former colleagues, syempre, they're very sad about what happened. And we can't stop it. Eh. We really can't oh, okay. stop because at the end of the day, we rely on tourism. We rely on, you know, people who are coming in here and people who are, you know, engaging for events and people who are, um, you know, looking for accommodation for these purposes, for mm-hmm. staycation, and ganyan. And Makati Shangri-La has been there for, you know, forever, 20 five mm-hmm. plus years now or 35 years so yeah it's very uh, challenging for us right now yep. and you mentioned diba yung uh, uncertainty we, parang ilang beses natin na mention I, I, I don't know guys <coughs> you remember our first episode with Ray diba we're stepping into um, that time of uncertainty and diba yung day, on a daily basis iba iba na yung mangyayaring norms and structure and process mm-hmm. so our mindset will really be different. So I think, diba, with what you mentioned, with what's happening in hospitality and tourism, iba na yung, iba na yung kinagisnan, kumbaga yung Tagalog, yung, yung, right. mm-hmm. yung situation. Um, mm-hmm. in, on that, on that um, point, parang kailan mo na sabi na, ah, okay, uh, talagang iba na talaga, and moving forward, ito na yung magiging, structure. Ano bang okay. I mean, ng, ano bang bigla na bang kunyari day on day one ba alam mo na ay, iba na hindi na ganito or oh, oh. nag-adjust ka pa and then gaano katagal yang honeymoon stage ng right. uncertainty right. na yan oh. sa sa ano sa As, hospitality industry. Curious din ako kasi ano ba yun hard stop o kasi oh, oh, eh. yeah, uh, yeah. Feb something Feb 1 or Feb 2. Oh, we had our first case, diba? Do the 2020 ah. We had our first case, and then of course, na alarm tayo lahat, uh, I mean, uh, big, big, big chunk of your business is through tourism. So, ano ba yun? Paano yung start yun? At the moment, we're still on that stage of transition. To be honest, like, ano um, mm-mm, nasa transition pa rin kami. Kasi although we practice new normal, we, uh, I, I 
I mean, from time to time, there there's an update from the government na ganito na dapat, new policy na dapat wear face mask, face shield, even gatherings, you know what I'm saying, or even check out. Kasi, you know, pag nasa, pag, if you're, if you're, if you're a quarantine facility or if you're serving, let's say, OFWs or guests na arriving from other countries, even if mag-check out sila, they still have to follow the protocol. Mm-hmm. Meaning to say, same protocol as when they check in with you. Na may face mask, face shield. Some are even wearing PPEs, even check out. So, hindi na siya yung katulad before na when you go to a hotel, di ba, you wear luxury bags, you wear luxury mm, yeah. clothes. Di ba? So, there are times na parang and majority of the people that we are serving right now are OFWs. So, these these guests na meron kami, buti na lang. I mean, a government is very helpful, especially OWA. Uh, they've been very helpful to us because uh, we've been receiving a lot of uh, guests from them. These are the returning OFWs. Mm-hmm. So, yung mga, yung mga na-displaced din abroad. So, yun yung mga kinikater natin na guests at the moment. So, the transition at the moment is still there. Like, we don't know if when we are really going back to normal because um, we're just leaving what is now. We're, we're just playing by ear. Eh. Play, we, mm-hmm. play, we play it by year kung anong sasabihin ng government like what whatever their man man, man yun lang yun lang yung susundin namin and so when it comes to have you moved on from 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 before to now like the from before stage na, na uh, wala, wala. yes oh wala pa eh. we're, we're on the process we're in the midst of ano um transitioning talaga to new normal pero ano yung sa tingin mong coping up mechanism niyo during that transition per se uh. mm-hmm. cope <laughs> Um, I think that's where ano eh, ang coping up mechanism namin, parang we just accepted um, the guests that we have now, regardless of whoever they are. Although we are in the hospitality, so we have, we're supposed to do that. But right now, we, we cannot be choosy when it comes to the rates that we give mm-hmm. to clients. You know, we, mm. cannot, we cannot refuse guests right now if they need a quarantine facility or if they are um, requiring x number of days for them to stay because they are moving out of the country or they are coming in here in the Philippines. So nawala nang ganoon eh before there's a competition eh, in the mm-hmm. hospitality industry. The competition is very very tough where you have to set a particular standard as to yeah. how much as to how much you are going to sell this particular room. So ngayon wala nang ganoon eh because mm-hmm. we need we need basically business one two we are realizing that we can be creative, you know, mm-hmm. at some point yeah. that in in before parang um we offer a lot of fnbs ganyan we offer drinks through cocktails ganyan pa pagandahan pa socialan mm-hmm. pero ngayon you realize that during during pandemic you tend to be creative on how you're gonna be you know um how you have to show to your management for instance kung paano ka ma-retain sa company that's one two is when 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 you are offering something to the people it has to always be you, you think about the safety you yeah know? think you think about the safety yung rooms kailangan thoroughly cleaned or kailangan uh, when you offer like, let's say deliveries let's say food deliveries kailangan from packaging pa lang so kasi before we follow a certain standard based on occupational safety and health or based on um based on um tawag dito um hygiene standards mm. so that is strict kami doon now we are becoming more strict because we cannot um we we, we cannot go wrong kasi i mean pandemic diba people mm-hmm. trust that your products that being delivered yeah. to me are extra so, safe eh. diba so yun yung mga um new new methods na ginagawa ng hospitality industry in general i mean for i'm hotel also specifically kasi we have to number one create business but more than that we have to be creative for us to be able to survive. Exactly. Kasi kailangan mo na ano, eh, sustainable structure sa panahon ngayon. Kailangan mo yun eh. Kasi mm-hmm. sabi mo nga, it's a business, kailangan nyo pumapasok. Di ba? Right. Medyo, medyo malaki. This is pa yung hotel business. So, medyo mahirap na. So, kailangan tama ka. You have to be creative. You have to be innovative. Medyo, mm-hmm. dati meron kasing set a standard. Dapat, ganito tayo. Ngayon, ngayon, parang sige na. <laughs> Hindi naman. Hindi naman. Actually, actually you, you still have to have standards but the standards has to be based on the new normal na. Yeah. Alam mo yeah, yun. Yeah. Yeah. There's uh, an extra layer of, ano, of parang, uh, standard. Parang, mm, 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 parang before, 
ano naman, uh, strict ka na when it comes to food hygiene. Pero now, you have to be stricter. Pero at the end of the day, kapag may business na mag inquire dati yung, yung rates mo, hindi masadong flexible. Yeah. Diba? Da- dati, ano, mm-hmm. strict ka kasi because you, you want to deliver something more. Diba? But now, you have to deliver more because kailangan maging, ano ka, kailangan maging sustainable nga the business. But more than that, kailangan maging iba ka. Yes. So, paano ka, paano ka magiging iba if you are retaining the old Diba? The old, the old uh, procedures yeah. or old offerings. Kailangan iba na talaga kayo. That's when you become creative and innovative. Yeah, you're right about it. Hmm. Talk so, about... Uh, sige, go, Lacardo. Wala lang. Gusto ko lang magtanong kay Kibil. Eh. So, binanggit niya kanina, hindi naman. So, medyo kailangan pa rin mag-set ng standards. So, meron ka na bang potential, supposedly potential business na inayawan mo dahil feeling mo hindi siya a par, a par dun sa standard na sinasabi mo? Sa ngayon na, sa ngayon, sa situation. <laughs> Actually, hindi yung tatanong ko sa Ana Carlo. Uh, <laughs> you mentioned about business. Of course, as much as mm-hmm. possible, you want revenue. You want uh, business coming in. Uh, yeah. uh, of course, you had this existing uh, uh, bookings nung before pandemic to. Uh. Siguro we can right. start from there or uh, however you want to tell the story. Of course, nandiyan weddings, events, uh, mapabirthday and kung ano and anything anything uh, how, how did you tackle yung ano yung cancellation of bookings mm-hmm. and of course that's another uh, challenge for you from your end kasi ikaw talaga ako sa sa ano yung mga weddings nakakansel lang ka ng kasal actually yan yeah, very very yeah. uh, um first din tayo sa ano din tayo sa um creativeness first ah, kung paano tayo nagta-trans, uh, paning transition when it comes to how you handle clients. Kasi syempre, clients will still inquire sa hotel, ganyan, or especially corporate clients, ganyan, kung nag accept na ba kayo ng meetings because a lot of a lot of companies are still would require meetings na live, I mean na uh, magkakasama sila, mm-hmm. right? So I have this uh, one client, um, for everyone's information, um, kasi I'm sure we have hospi- uh, we have hotel years na listening right now, Um, I'm I'm moved to sales at the moment. I'm handling sales at the moment of I Hotel mainly because yun nga, um, we have to stretch ourselves into you know yes mm-hmm. yes yes. yes. Kela natin kung uh, makita or mapakita yung ano natin other side of us. So now I can do sales, so I volunteered to handle sales at the moment. So anyways, going back. So I have this one corporate clients na. Uh, it's a big business. It's a big business. Uh, it was closed even before the lockdown, but apparently, natamaan siya nung ano eh, natamaan siya nung closure ni hotel. The event was supposed to be March 17 or 18, mm-hmm. but of course, we closed on the 16th, so we canceled it. And then, um, of course, ang mahirap na part is um, tawag dito, canceling the event and moving it to the next possible date, which is hard also because even ourselves, we don't know when we are going to resume its operation. Ah, di mo alam. Okay. So what we did was, so uh, we proposed to have partnership with them, and uh, instead of them having an event here, they decided to just have like a sales rally via Zoom or via uh, parang G Meet, if I'm not mistaken. So they they decided to have like an uh, an event na lang online. Tapos what we did is instead of refunding the money, we negotiated with them and uh, asked them if we can just deliver some grazing boxes. So instead of uh, the hotel food, siempre so hindi naman namin siya pwedeng i-deliver individually sa bahay ba- ba- nila kasi of course masira ang quality ng food and all. So we decided to create na lang a box for them para yun na lang yung magiging parang snacks nila or snack boxes okay. during their event, during their live. So parang ganito sa atin, we're doing it on Zoom. So yun, so we have boxes with us. So instead of having an actual event here. So yun, it was I think successful. So that's the first one of uh sorry my comment ko lang eh uh, that's hmm. going above and beyond yes. your hmm. uh yeah, it's something uh, new. Oh. Uh hmm. I mean to think of that the uh, approach or basically model sobrang creative noon eh. Uh hmm. hotel ah. Uh, Service is real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> going above <laughs> and beyond <laughs> man. Eh. Uh personalized ano sa yo package for you. And hindi mo hindi mo sila hinayaan na kasi ang ang kadalasan uh, pagka hindi ka talaga makakasap ng booking ang kawawa doon is yung customer kasi naiwan sila sa ere and then mm-hmm. uh, uh, 
so where do we go next para nahihirapan sila ng another booking and you right and yet na gawa mo pa ng paraan para ma- matulungan pa sila mm-hmm. so uh, ma-comment ko lang that's going above and beyond and that's <laughs> Thanks. That's, that's true customer yeah. service. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> well, yun nga, I mean, I, as long as I think you, ano naman, you get inspired pa rin naman kahit na pandemic kasi you have to be creative nga as with what we've mentioned and kasi the client trusts you. It's a big thing for mm-hmm. for hotel years that when your client uh, clients trust you, you give back to them on a more special level. Parang ganun siya. So, yeah. I think it was generally successful though, their event. And they love naman the box that we did for them. So, yeah. And we did 500 boxes. Imagine the skeleton. Wow, boxes. Uh, <laughs> I was Imagine going to ask niya. Ikaw ilan yun. So. Uh, symbol was, mo pa yun. Grazing box. Yes, yeah. Legit. Legit. It was 500 boxes. Tapos, yeah, we had to assemble it. All, parang for three nights. Like, non, non-stop na ano. Uh, production from kitchen to marketing to operations and all. Kasi syempre, marketing has to be involved kasi ilalabas siya. Of course, the kitchen because they'll be the one to prepare all the, you know, the products, the items that will be put into the box. Tapos of course, there has to be quality check pa with all the boxes and all. So it's it's very, you know, very tedious to do. But mm-hmm. yeah, successfully naman. And we're very thankful to the client kasi we managed to, I know, We were, we were able to negotiate to do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so that's the first one. Second one, though. Second one. Ito very, very, very recent talaga. Like, we're talking about one week ago. So we had this confirmed business, confirmed wedding. And the wedding has been all set. Everything is prepared. Everything is ready, basically. There's event order. There's um, communications already with a couple. And there's everything. Everything is set to... We're just waiting for the date of the wedding. Mm-hmm. Apparently, we have to cancel them. So I was handling it, and I had to tell them personally that, that on behalf of the management, we're really sorry because we have to cancel the wedding. And imagine if it's even you just recently got married, deva. Right? Imagine yes. usually the for a wedding. Bill, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> So basically, um, it happened very fast, mainly because we thought that 2020, we can already do weddings, you know, okay. because of the MGCQ uh-huh. or all, all this time we thought that we can. But apparently, kasi wala pa rin mandate from the government that the hotel industry can already accept such events. Mm. And so very unfortunate on that particular day because I personally had to set a meeting with a couple. Parang prior to that, not they were asking, um, kailan tayo, ano, when, when we're going to do the full payment or when we're going to do the, kailan na namin makikita yung venue because they're excited with the design and all. And then apparently, I cannot say anything the night prior because the management decided to cancel the wedding. So, the next morning, I asked them if they can come over sa hotel so we can discuss it. I was shaking, legit. I was shaking talaga. I was almost I was almost crying because I love the couple and, you know, ako kasi when I have clients, I tend to be friends with them because they they're just nice. Eh? I mean, when 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 the clients are nice, yeah. they they you have to return the favor more than like tenfold. Yeah. Eh? So mm-hmm. um when I canceled it, they, I was shaking, sabi sa nila, I'm really sorry. I mean, it's not It's not because we don't want to host you. It's not because, you know, of whatever reasons, but mainly because we have to understand the situation. And the situation, because of the new variant, and then there's still no announcement as to whether or not we can host events, things like this, because we're still hosting other guests. And then, yeah, these factors na and dami na hindi mo na siya... Um, kaya i-explain lahat ng specific kung bakit mo siya cancel because at the end of the day if the if the couple are closed minded they will not accept it <laughs> they will not oh accept it. Parang, true true diba? so, i mean weddings weddings are being prepared one year before six oh, months ma- before yeah. or like months 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 before diba? and then one week prior to the wedding you're gonna cancel man that's, yeah. yeah that's that's hard so at first syempre they were shocked naman they were shocked talaga And then, as we explained it to them, uh, naintindihan naman nila. I mean, it's not, it's, 
it's out of our control and all. So, ayun. Okay naman sila, but of course, I had to help them. <laughs> Kasi, I mean, it's um, one of the things that you have to learn as a year. You always have to go the extra mile. Eh. Like, yeah. you yeah. have to... Uh, you have to commit. And once you commit, kasi especially um, naging friends na kayo or naging close na kayo, you have, to, ano, you have to do something to be able to help them in any way you can. And, you know, fortunately, we're able to, I know, we're able to get them a venue, a new venue, a, cater, a caterer. So, yun. Pero kamusta yung bride? Na. Kamusta yung bride? <laughs> Or Ako yung na... groom ba yung medyo nag-panic? Sino nagkano sa kanila? Oo. Alam, alam mo, nung una, natatakot ako kasi akala ko, sasampalin ako ng bride. Yung mga ganun. Sabi ko, shucks, kailangan i-ready ko na yung face ko pag harap ako, ay, handa ko yung face ko, ganyan. Okay, handa ko na yung braso ko, di ba? Kasi baka mami, bila akong suntok kayo ng groom. Ganyan. Well, hindi naman, hindi naman. It didn't happen naman. I mean, they're very professional. They're very professional. Pero syempre, at the back of your mind, baka mamaya, shucks, anong gagawin nito sa akin? Baka mamaya, bila ako sampalin kasi, di ba? Kinancel ko yung wedding lang one week before. How dare me! So, <laughs> <laughs> ano ako? Diyos ako? Para i-cancel yung kasal nila. Di ba, di ba, oh, hindi ba humirit yung ano? Hindi humirit yung groom na han, mukhang sign to ha. Oh, <laughs> so, eh. Next year na daw tayo. <laughs> <laughs> Alam mo, ay- ayoko lang sabihin yun eh. Joke lang. <laughs> <laughs> hindi kaya ito na yung sign. Ito, hindi kaya ito na yung sign. Diba? Pero hindi naman. Hindi naman. Hindi naman sila ano. Um, we're friends. We're good. We're good friends. So, Uh, I helped them through and through until they're finally settled. I I, I went, uh, I dropped by to their wedding to say hi. And I was still sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I was still sorry until the last day, until the event date. So, ayun. Yung mga, yun yung mga challenges na parang sucks. <laughs> Di ko, alam mo, na-realize ko personally, ito personally talaga. Like, I realized na I can be creative that much pala and everyone else in the hospitality industry mm-hmm. in general. Kasi, We're trained to, ano eh, to, alam mo yan, to stretch yourself, to, um, to do anything you can just to make your clients or your guests happy. Mm. And you have to do it straight from the heart. Yeah. Ayun, straight from the heart. Going above and beyond. <laughs> I don't know. Going, going, above. So, Go, going above and beyond, straight from the heart. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> and we'll talk about that later. Yeah. So, uh, government has been very helpful, but of course, mm-hmm. they have to impose regulations. And they just see IATF, they just see DOT, and with the recent, actually, yung nangyari sa katapat na hotel, uh, 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 may, may nadagdag bang regulation? May, or may, ano ba, ano ba? Can you tell us uh, some regulation stories and compliance stories that uh, medyo naging memorable in the past year? <laughs> What are the limitations? All right, so we, um, I think in hospitality in general, uh, um, kasi of course, it's, as what we've mentioned kanina na we're trying to be creative in so many ways. So sometimes, you know, it happens sa ibang hotels na even if you're not allowed to accept guests, palihem, di ba? Palihem, minsan matatanggap ka because um, kailangan mo eh. You, you have to, I mean, more than the business, you have to help your people to survive. I, I'm sure... At this time, I mean, kung meron man tayong mga may-ari ng hotel na nakikinig sa atin ngayon, they would understand and they will feel the same na you don't do it naman for your business eh. I mean, sec- the business comes na lang second but you do it for your people because a lot of people are looking forward to how you're gonna help them. And I mean, I can say, I mean, don't take it against me but very less yung yung Um, natutulong ni government when it comes to business, uh, small, medium enterprises, even large. So, they, they're helping but not much. I mean, when it comes to taxes and all, walang tax subsidy yeah, yeah, yeah. and whatever. Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah, that's out of the topic. But, but you know, when when you're a hotel owner, kasi sometimes, or any any business owner during pandemic, you always have to take care of the people because people are working for you. They've dedicated so much of their lives for you. So yeah, in return during this time, dito mo makikilala if your employer is really good, right? So, yun. So the uh, some of the hotels accepted business, even if it's bawal. And now the DOT and the LGU specifically have been 
have been very strict na. I mean, since January of this mm-hmm. year. So they've been stricter when it comes to policies, when it comes to hosting events, when it comes to, you know, social distancing, sa properties, even restaurants. Ah, even restaurants, I, I'm quite surprised. Like as a normal citizen, when I enter a restaurant, I have to wear face mask ah, and face shield. Face shield. Imagine yeah, face oh. shield. Ah. And then when I enter the, when I enter the, when I enter I the restaurant, I'm going to remove it and then, I mean, at some correct, point, correct. if you're just an average, reasonable individual, or isip mo ano ba yan? It doesn't make sense. Kasi uh, pagpasok ko restaurant, alsi mo din naman eh, di ba? So parang uh, ano yung parang ID mo, di ba? Parang ID mo yung ano yung <laughs> yung face shield. Kung wala uh, face shield, sorry, you cannot enter. I mean, face mask would understand, but like correct. face shield. Pero well, they become stricter because well, new variant, kanya cases every day. It doesn't stop. Mm. So. Ayun, um, in Makati most especially, very, very, very strict. Uh, like, ang daming bars na nagsara because mm-hmm. nahuli sila. I mean, I cannot just name names, but like a lot of bars have closed because they were caught the, the their operational or no social distancing. Ganyan. Oo, oh, may nakita nga ako sa BGC pa. Eh. Isa sa mga favorite kong restaurants. May nag-birthday kasing ano, celebrity. By the way, guys, by the way, guys, nag-stay siya sa hotel room. Ah. So... <laughs> Yes. Live po tayo. Live po tayo. First time ko pag live. So, <laughs> ganda po pala yung feeling pag live. Joke lang. Kala ko nakahan namin nag-live selling ka eh. Oh. Pamay, pamay <laughs> na lang po. <laughs> pamay, okay na po. Imay nyo na po. Joke lang. <laughs> Alam. Comment na lang po. Pa-comment. Ayan. If you want, if you want, ano po, kung gusto. Pamain po. Yung number ko po isesend po ni JL tsaka ni Carlo. Ayan, ayan, ayan. Ayan. So please, ano, pakicomment po. Pakicomment. <laughs> anyway, going back lang. So, so yun nga, you mentioned that there are regulations. Uh, and now, you're only accepting bookings as long as it's OFW or given by OWAS. Tama ba? Or... Yeah, that's, that's correct. Yeah. Uh, okay. And then it serves as a quarantine facility. Uh, or, At the and, moment. And diba, and diba recently, parang wala na, hindi na daw required yung 14 days? Um, Actually, nag-require ulit sila. Ah, okay. okay. Nag-require ulit sila. Oh, okay. Diba, yeah. na-level of uncertainty. Oo. Yun, yun yung sasabihin ko. Actually, so ayan, palit na naman. Uh, palit na naman. So meron ka na namang panibagong regulations and rules. It started this year though. It started this year, um, nag ano, na sila they, they identified countries na pwedeng mag ano uh, countries na hindi na kailangan dito, 14 na, na, na hindi na kailangan 14 days or countries that need uh, need to be quarantined for 14 days so kaya marami ring mga Filipino na umuuwi na minsan pag na mafi-feel mo yun eh as a, as a hotelier kapag pagdating nila tas matagal na sila dito gusto nila lang umuwi na board na sila kasi 14 mm-hmm. days yeah. it's hard it's really hard right. to stay in your four corners so close yet so far eh, no? <laughs> so good business good business though for the hotel because may short kang 14, 14 days kang guest oh, pero oh, oh they, for ano for kung ikaw yung gusto mo ikakarantine ng 14 days, well, yeah, medyo sad yan. Medyo mahirap talaga siya. Mm, pero ngayon, nabago na. Nabago na ngayon. Five days na lang. So, ah, for okay. everyone's information, oh. okay, okay. if you have listeners, if you have W's who are coming from abroad, um, and then you're gonna be back here for good or for just for uh, vacation, so you have to stay once you arrive in the airport there's no swab wala na po tayong 5 days or 6 days before you can do the swab test once the swab mm-hmm. test is done then that's the time that you can go home oh okay as long as negative okay. lahat yan okay. Okay. yes okay 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 yung Carlo kapatid natin pauwi na natin <laughs> oh, okay oh, <laughs> Pero yung, yung ganun ba ngayon, like for example, pagiging quarantine facility ng mga OFWs natin, you know, it's a silly question. Pero masasabi mo bang is it still competitive dun sa type of business na meron kayo before pre-pandemic? I mean, is it still competitive or? Um, now we know how to differentiate it. Now, if, if I'm being honest, the rates that we give is not even half or wow. are not... Uh, no, at par with like the rates, the original rates that we have when we were in operation. 
But of course, pandemic, we need business. Yeah. So you have to, you know, you have to be a little bit more flexible when it comes to the dates that you're going to give to the clients, especially if it's government. Government talaga, usually we work on a budget. So um, at the moment, um, medyo, ano, medyo challenge, medyo challenge for, okay. for us kasi um, we have to adjust. We have to adjust with the rates, of course, and the manpower. Siyempre, it comes naman eh. I mean, magbabaging rate mo, pero the service Correct. cannot change. Yes. In fact, it's more pricey right now because of certain mechanisms and certain mm. measures, di ba? I mean, you have to always have alcohol. You have to always have provide. You should provide face mask, face shield to your guests or to your employees. Plus, yung mga marketing collaterals. It costs, ha? It costs a lot for marketing yeah. and for the hotel. Talaga, Tapos, marketing? Uh, yeah, because marketing has to do it. Oh, yeah. okay. Mm-hmm. I mean, we have to make sure that when the guest comes with us, uh, safe kami. Or mm-hmm. whatever we are, um, kung ano man yung ipapakita namin sa aming social media, it has to, ano, it has to be, ano, um, marketable pa din kahit na quarantine facility right. ka. Siyempre, you spend for that. Plus, all the materials that you use within the hotel, yung mga... Uh, please stay in this line, mga ganon. So, syempre, oh. may cost pa din. I mean, there's a lot of ano, cost involved during pandemic. And the price is lower, super low. So, imagine yeah, the yeah. struggle of business owners. Oh, so, yun yung medyo challenge at the moment. Although, we're very thankful kasi the hotel is always full. I mean, we have 434 rooms here. And we're... Naman, very lucky because we have good relationship with the government. You know, so uh, lagi tayong puno or kung hindi man, almost puno. No, that's great. That's great. So somehow, masasabi mo, nandun sa break-even point. Mm-hmm. Yes. I, I think naman, confidently, uh, wala namang... Compared to others, point. diba? Siyempre, compared yeah. to others. Compared to others. That's why sometimes... Uh, at a lot of hotels at the moment are still quarantine facility because they cannot be under leisure. When you say leisure, ito yung mga staycation, ito yung kailangan ng accommodation for a night due to whatever, pur- whatever purpose. And as you can see, marami sa kanila nagko-close talaga because hindi, hindi kaya sustain talaga ng leisure purpose na ano, leisure travel or business travel. Wala, hindi talaga kakayanin ng business mo kasi you will only have Um, very few guests. Like we're talking about 2% of your occupancy mm-hmm. or 10%, not even more than 30% of your occupancy. Kasi konti lang talaga nagta-travel for leisure. Yeah. And kung mag-leisure ka, if you're going to tag yourself as a leisure hotel, you cannot be under quarantine facility. Uh, you can't uh, uh, yes. So you can, you have to choose one lang. You you want to be a quarantine facility or you want to be a leisure tag as leisure mm-hmm. hotel. So Perfect. just that Uh, yun, yun lang. Yung dalawang yun. So, wala. Kakapit ka talaga sa patilim. So, yeah. Tsaka mga ano ngayon, yung mga OFWs natin, tsaka mga travelers natin, pag sinari mong quarantine facility, ang ginahanap nila yung pinakamura na maayos eh. So, correct me if I'm wrong, kailangan talaga maasahin mga kanila. You have to compete. You have to be competitive dun sa mga rates, sa service, na parang, ah, dito lang kami. Diba? Correct. Kasi mura na, maganda pa. Si mayroong iba, may napapanood ako, may mga horror stories na iba na parang kinuha nila yung mura tapos they were expecting ano pa rin eh. <laughs> Nag-expect pa rin sila na, alam mo yun, oh, yeah. medyo oh, luxury, ano. <laughs> tapos parang meron sila kama, mm-hmm. CR, yun lang. Napaka-basic mm-hmm. lang. That's true ah. I'm sure meron tayong mga listeners ngayon na OFW sa suuwi sila in the future. Na sometimes kasi meron din tayong mga guests na ganyan na hindi sila understanding, alam mo yun na of course what we can provide is just basic mm-hmm. basic amenities di ba hindi naman tayo pwedeng mag ano magpaulan ng shampoo magpaulan ng towel well, yeah di ba? because we're working we're working on specific budget ko i'm sure you understand uh... so hindi tayo hindi tayo pwedeng mag ano hindi tayo pwedeng luxury luxury at the moment kailangan nating magtipid kailangan natin i-maximize whatever available resources that we have So, especially with yun nga, with the rates and all. So, uh, alam, alam, alam mo lang kasi Pinoy culture, the sachet culture. Ibre, ibre. Parang, oh. Uy, di na. Ay, ay, kahit, ka bumili, kahit bumili ka ng sachet, oh. dapat mas ulit may sachet mo. Tubig, yung binubusan oh. pa ng tubig para may makuha pa nga. Hindi po na ganyan. Mapig ka. 
uh, I'm not saying everyone na ganun eh. I'm not saying everyone eh. Uh, I'm you know, uh, as a customer siguro from their perspective. Parang <laughs> siguro binayaran ko to eh. Dapat <laughs> sulitin ko. At saka ang swerte ng mga OFWs ngayon na yung mga naka-quarantine kasi sagot sila ni government. Uh, At talaga they're not paying, paying ba? They're not paying a single cent. At talaga? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. okay. So, let's say for example, you have families or relatives na uwi from, let's say, from, from the US coming back here mm-hmm. in the Philippines. And they are from, let's say, Mindanao, Davao. Let's say they're from Davao. Once they arrive in the Philippines, they're going to be assigned to a specific official accommodation and they're gonna stay there until the result of their swab test. Once the swab test is once the swab test result is out, they're going to be transferred sa Davao na on their LGU, local government. Mm-hmm. Nandun na sila. And the transportation, the airfare, is still subsidized by the government wow. until you reach the LGU. Full okay. repatriation pala yun. Oh. Diba? Sobrang sulit. And imagine, ha, imagine, usually, syempre, pag Pinoy ka, OFW ka, ang dami mong dala. You're more than the 50 kilograms that an international okay. aircraft is providing complimentary. So, pag nag-arrive ka na here, ano na, um, kahit na 100 kilos yung dala mo, sagot pa rin yan. Walang excess, excess baggage. Okay. So, sobrang swerte. Sobrang swerte rin ng mga Filipino. At, at that point, medyo good job. Good job si government. In fairness. In fairness. Nice for, point. ano, yes. for helping through that. Oh, and lalo, iba kasi, ah, yung iba, ibang OFW, kailan pa huling nakita yung mga kamag-anak nila. Tapos with all this, uh, lalo sa mga highly infected countries, I, I know, oh. isa na tayo doon. Pero, of course, there are other countries, lalo US. For example, mo, yun, di ba? Mo, mo, yun, makita ko lang pamilya ko bago baka, baka kasi, kasi with all the uncertainty, di ba? Parang nakakaura ng eh. video ko lang eh. Mm-hmm. Di ba? Parang ganun eh. So, so, so all this time, sagot pala yun. Alam ko siya, no? Uh, pero pagka, for example, uh, family member ko lang, she's not mm-hmm. uh, necessarily working uh, uh, outside the country or she's not tagged as OFW. She studies there. Hindi sagot yun. Nope. Um, ang may sagot sa kanila is the Department okay, of yeah. Transition. Ah, TDOT oh, na. Okay. Um, okay. Wait lang. I'm not, I'm not very certain though as to uh, the extent of the help of the Department of Tourism. But if they are identified coming from a high-risk country, I think they are being subsidized also ah, by the Department of Tourism. Okay, okay, okay. Yes. Or, kailangan, kasi pagdating nila sa airport, kailangan may ipapresent silang reservation eh. I mean, um, hotel reservation confirmation. Uh, So, kailangan may ganun para itatrack ka kasi ni government eh kung nasaan ka. Ipa-find ka nila kapag from airport diretso ka sa bahay, hindi ka nag-quarantine. Oh, okay. And it's, a, it's against the law kasi okay. I think there's a law on that. So, mapipenalize ka. Okay, okay. Daming natututunan. Oh, <laughs> oh. Actually, uh, uh, speaking of natututunan, uh, we have this uh, on the past uh, episodes. We, all, we have season. This, oh, past season. Season na pala. Season. Actually, last season na to. Uh, every 10 episodes kasi uh, we we do another season bill. Eh. Uh, so mm-hmm. on season 2 we always uh, every episode ng no season 2 we have this segment we call uh, Baet Busters or we call it Myth Busters or some common fallacies na ano. Mm-hmm. Uh, but now babalik ta rin namin. So uh, we we will call it uh, Baet secrets or trade secrets as we call it. So, baka naman meron ka dyan, ano, kasi we've been talking about COVID and uh, its impact to hotel industry. Can we uh, have some sort of silver lining? Pwedeng ganun or baka lang may ma-share kang uh, trade secret na, uh, for example, yung sabon, iba pala yan, ginto pala yan, mga ganun. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> mga ganun. Mga ganun. Oh, ganun. Oh. Ah. Ano bang ma-share mong trade secrets yan? Baka mamaya yung sabon na inuuwi namin, hindi pala yun yun. <laughs> o hindi ah. <laughs> Kasi isa yan sa mga inaabangan natin sa hotel, di ba? Parang pasok mo sa room. Punta ka sa CR eh. Okay. So, sorry Bila, meaning ko ah. Uh, <laughs> Igago hotel ako. Uh, nagbabaon talaga ako noon kasi yun yes. yung mga pinabaon ko sa mga basketball eh. Yes. <laughs> Instead na magdadala ako ng sabon na bar. Ayun yung mga gamit ko, mga hotel oh, na sa... Sa gamit na lang. Oh, may may oh, bragging oh, of, oh, ano. <laughs> may bragging of, ano, mga, parang mga sabon. Hindi kasi marami. May, tapos makikiramdam ka pa niyan. First day mo, itatago mo, di ba? Tapos paghihintay ka ng housekeeping the next day. 
pag pag nagano sila nagrestock ay nako araw-araw yun <laughs> Oh, ka na <laughs> actually, it's actually for everyone's information. When you go to a hotel and you check in, hindi mo na kailangan sang hindi ka kakailangan ka bahan pag ginawa mo sa because it's yours. So on a daily basis, it has to be replaced. Uh, so swear, so, so, so kailangan talaga. I think technique jan. So kung collector ka ng sabon, ay 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 trade secret pa. <laughs> so kung collect kung collector ka ng sabon, what you can do is pag check-in mo, di mo siya nagamit the following day, mag, uh, mag-housekeeping, mag-makeup room. So, kunin mo na yung mga nandun, tapos tago mo na siya. Okay lang yun, kasi libre yun, binayaran mo yun. Mm. Yan. Tapos, meron pang iba dyan. I'm sure may mga listeners tayo na collector naman ng susi. No. Ayan, may mga collector ng susi ng hotel, yung mga key cards, di ba? Mm. Ayan. Um, pwede mo rin yung iuwi, kasi binayaran mo rin yun. Yeah. Uh, kasi kasa- nakasama lang okay. naman sa cost yun. Yes, yes. You, ano, you paid oh, for no, that. Although, ba't mo gagawin yun? <laughs> diba? Oh, oh, may, ano, may, may, Uy, may gano'n na. May gano'n. Meron, meron kasi ibang gano'n eh. Souvenir. Never mo ginawa yung Carlo? Yung susi, hindi. Kasi hinuhulog yun eh. Diba? Sinusurrender yun eh. <laughs> yan. So, yan yung mga, ano, yan yung mga akal natin illegal. Pero no naman. It's, pero yung bathroom, hindi okay. pwede. Ay, huwag naman yun. Huwag naman the bathroom. Magtaro para sure, no? Para lang sure. Para lang sure, no? Yun yung magandang yun. Para to yung nag-hotel ako, parang yun yung ano eh. Mahiwagang tanong lagi. Sino sino dito may bathroom sa bahay? Ako wala akong bathroom. Ako wala akong bathroom sa bahay. Oo. Eh si Bill meron. Hindi, okay din. Kung libre sa hotel yun, eh di meron na akong bathroom sa bahay. Yun lang yun. Yun yung pinag-alagay ni Carlo Bill. Ang tawag na bathroom pero sinusuot ko yun. Yung takatakat na kaano lang. Nakasuot ka lang na ganag. Dalakad ka sa loob ng hotel. Ganyan, ganyan. Picture sa bintana. Ganyan yun eh. <laughs> Tapos ano, uh, Instagram o uh, Facebook agad. Oo, oh, nakakali pa yun. Datapat ka sa bintana. Yung mga ganitong bintana ng hotel o. Oh. Ayan. Yeah, 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 oh, no? Picture ka ng konti, di ba? Ginagawa mong jacket. Ginagawa mong jacket. Naka-t-shirt ka naman sa loob. Caption, chilling. Oh, chilling at I'm hotel. <laughs> Pag pwede nang iuwi yung bathroom sa hotel, mag-uwi ako ng bathroom. Hindi yun. Sa ngayon, hindi pa. Sayang. Hindi pa. At least may itapas. Medyo inaabangan ko yung comporter eh. Kasi parang iba pala yung comporter sa hotel eh. Grabe <laughs> naman yung pari. Ito, ito. Recently kasi uh, namimili ako ng gamit para doon sa new hmm. home namin eh. Uh, wala akong makakitang mattress na hotel level. Yes. Na, wala. Ako din. Ako din. Ako din. Ako din. Parang napaka-exclusive. Okay. Kahit pa gawin kung gusto ko, gusto, ko, gusto ko yung punda ng kama ko puti. Pero hindi pa din katulad ng hotel yun. Kahit ano mag-awa. Okay. True. Hindi. True. Di ba? Alam mo. Experience eh. Ibe. Pag humiga ako sa kama ng hotel, parang five minutes tulog kayo. Parang... Correct, pre. Correct. No, there's a secret on that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you kung anong secret. Oh, yan, yan, yan. Kasi, um, eto pag, pag hotelier ka kasi, you're very particular on everything. Table arrangement, pag gumain ka sa restaurant, the proper service, you're, be, you're becoming cultured unintentionally. So, it's a good thing din kapag yung mga friends kayong hotelier na magtuturo rin sa inyo yung proper etiquette kapag kumakain sa mga restaurant, especially pag mga tipong mga five-star restaurants uh, na yan or, di ba, or mga high-level restaurants, yeah. So, matututo ka kung paano yung tamang... Kung yung placing nung una, nung estudyante pa ako or nung bata pa ako, makain kami sa mga restaurant. So, parang, ha? Huh? Ang dami naman mga kutsara. Yung 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 yun, yun, yun. <laughs> yes, may mga ganon. Pero, when when you become a Tilgira, ito, I, I'm not sure, I, but I'm, I think naman there are some people who would relate na you're gonna be very also when it comes to your room. Pag, pagdating sa kwarto mo. Uh-huh. Yun. So, sa akin, sa kwarto ko, uh, sa, sa unit ko, ang ginagawa ko, para mas comfortable sa bed, kailangan may mattress topper kayo. Hindi yung diretso mattress lang. Alam mo yung, di ba, pag foam, usually mga 4 inch thick yun, di ba? Or 5 ah, inch yeah. thick. Meron pang nabibili sa mga sukong tindahan na mga mattress topper. It's usually about this inch. It's uh, mga 2 inches, 3 inches. Yeah. Um, mga 3 inches yan, 2 inches. Yan. Sobrang sarap. Meron pa mga jelly something eh. Yung, mm-hmm pinaka-topper. Oh. Yun. Tapos, um, 
ilagay ilalagay mo yun sa ibabaw ng matches para yung mattress mo as is pa rin siya intact pa rin siya kahit gamitin mo siya 20 years it's still the same maganda pa rin siya tapos sagyan mo ng parang mattress topper para mas malambot pa ng bongga kasi nakikita nyo oh, yung sa mga okay. hotels parang ang taas ng bed yeah. na di ba oo oh, oh, oh. Oh. So, parang sabi ko anong meron dito sa bed na to ay yung mattress lang ng mga useful sa mga suking tindahan mga mga 5 inches lang yun diba, diba, parang... so yun pa lang si mattress sabi ko ang especially especially pag mga 5 star hotel ha, parang makikita mo ang kapal ng ng duvet ang kapal ng kama parang sobrang kapal sobrang lambot na talagang may memory na may iwan may foam uh, may, parang may memory sa, sa the sobrang the taso yun yung mga masarap talo na pagdating 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 na ang ang secret diyan ng mga hotels nga so apart from dun sa ano mattress ng mattress topper tapos eto pang tip ko for everyone especially yeah. kung um if you are um living with your girlfriend or kapag may asawa kayo um kasi there are times na may mga period di ba hindi natin maiwasan may mga period tapos white yung ano mo white yung sheets. mattress ay ma- white yung sheets ang technique diyan may na iba nagwa wine sa room mo or sa bed mo may nabibiling ganun na Para, topper yan, na topper. Mas feel siya. Apart from the topper, ha, ilalagay mo mm. siya doon sa ano, doon sa sa bed or sa pillow. So, kunyari, bumili ka ng pillow na benzo shala-shala, worth 5,000 uh. isang pillow, isang pillow. Siyempre, ayaw mo naman yung pillow case mo, eh, mumurahin lang kasi worth 5,000. Oh, diba? So, ang gagawin mo doon, ayaw mo rin na mamadumihan yung pillow kasi sayang naman. So, kailangan meron kang parang casing niya na waterproof. Okay. Okay. Para kahit mag-spill doon, kahit magkalat ka, kung ano man yung kalat mo sa kama mo, <laughs> laway, okay lang. Laway. <laughs> sa tulog. Laway. Okay. Oh. Tumuling laway mo, di ba? Oh. Hindi siya papasok sa unan or hindi siya papasok doon sa mattress yeah. kasi nga, meron siyang protector. Ah, okay. okay. Mga ganyan pala. Sakto yan. Sakto namimili ako mga gamit. Oo, oo. Tama-tama namimili ako mga gamit. Yun. Tapos, the higher the thread count, Ah, mas kaya yan. Narinig ko sa nanay ko yan eh. Oh. Yes. So, kailangan pagbibili ka ng mga mga match, uh, ng mga pillowcases or mga duvet cover, kailangan ano yan, um, kailangan uh, high thread counts. 800 pa taas, maganda na ba yan? Yung mga gano'n? Oo, okay na yun. Okay na yun. Okay na yun. Okay na yun. Tapos, pagka masyadong bibili ng masyadong mura, huwag mong tipirin kasi you work hard every day eh. So, when you Tapos, get home, oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. that's very important. That's, that's ano, kahit pangit yung kusina mo, kahit pangit yung ano mo, sala mo, basta pagdating sa kama, you have to invest. Oh, masarap, yeah. mag- masarap guman yung ganyan din pag igamot. Correct. Oh. Masarap pag medyo tumatalbog-talbog, di ba? Oh. So, <laughs> Ayun. Yeah. Totoo oh. nga naman. Kasi sa hotel, ganun eh. May only mm-hmm. uh, jelly feeling gano'n eh. At saka make sure, eh. make sure wag kayong gagamit ng ano, wag kayong, kahit na naka-electric fan ka lang sa kwarto, kung medyo maraming bisita yung kwarto mo, kailangan papogi ka. Like, bili ka ng ano, duvet, ng comforter. Yan, yeah, comforter. Ganyan. Yung tipong nilalabas lang pag may bisitang ano eh. Correct. Oh. <laughs> Darating si Tito, ano, medyo maano to eh. Malaki magbigay to pag oh. pag-uwi nito eh. Medyo labas natin yung ano. Tatagal no. Oh. Correct. <laughs> anyway. So yun yung mga ano, yun yung mga ano, uh, mga secret na mga hotel gear. Pag pumunta ka sa bahay ng hotel gear, Ganyan, yeah. ganyan ang expect ganyan. Hanapin mo yung Sige. Hanapin mo yung kwarto Makita mo yung sa kwarto Kahit napakalit ng kwarto niyan Carpeted yan <laughs> Kasi ayaw mo tumapak sa floor uh, Ayaw mo tumapak sa floor Tapos pag, pag higa mo dun sa kama niya Normal naman yung kama Pero parang may mafeel kang something different Another one Yung mga Ito, yung mga Mga Tawa dito uh, Curtains mm. Ayan ano yan, um, parang mat- medyo matutukan ng konting culture. Kasi, syempre, normal yung iba sa atin. Ano lang, uh, okay na yan. Basta may mailagay. May, may sampay lang, oh. Kortina dyan. Kortina, di ba? Alam mo, uh, kahit gano'ng kalit yung apartment mo or yung condo mo, kung meron kang sheer curtain, tapos, sasamahan mo. Papakita ko sa ating mga listeners niya. Sige, sige, sige. Ayan. Alam mo, kahit gano'ng kahit gano kaliit yung, ano, yung place mo, pero it looks very comfortable. May in love sa yung dadalhin mo. 
So, hindi ko ha-share kung bakit yeah, nangyayon no? sa akin eh. So, pala. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bigla humugot eh. So, so pamain po. Pamain, they turn. Pamain, pamain, pamain. Kay Bill, kay Bill. Ayan. So, basically, sa mga hotels, ito, very normal sa hotel na meron ganito. Dalawa yung lagi, dalawa yung kortina. Oh, yung yung lata, ten, saka, no? Bakit ba kasi dalawa yung kortina, arte naman? It, ano yan? Um, pang, bukod sa salahan po, ano rin yan? Salahan. Uh, It, it helps you to ano it helps you to you know look more comfy kung ayaw mo na sobrang dilim gusto mo nang may konti ilaw so may share curtain ka maganda to sa bahay may share curtain ka yeah. tapos lagyan mo na rin ng blackout tawag po dito blackout Ooh. curtain yung totally black ako oh, sinarado mong ganyan total blackout <laughs> Kayo, ngayon ko lang nari legit pare I'm today may ganyan ako nung nadidinig ko yung terms na yan hindi yung terms na yan <laughs> ang ala pare pagka tinig pagka tinanong mo ko ano tawag sa, sa ano na yan kurtina kurtina <laughs> Oo, oh, yung blackout. May oh, sheer top. Ako alam ko yan. May ganyan ako hindi ko alam yan, Mary. At saka ano yan, nila, nilalagay lang yan pagka may darating ang bisita ka nun eh. Hindi, <laughs> akin yung lagi yan nandyan. Lagi yan nandyan, lagi yung blackout. Ang sekreto dyan, dun sa mga, uh, I'm talking about dun sa mga ano ah, yung sa mga may mga independent, yung mga naka-condo lang or yung mga naka-apartment, usually, ano yan, medyo tricky. Kasi syempre, yung lagay ng kortina, yung parang pinaka-hook niya, ah, sorry, hmm. yung The, the, yung, the yung bar. wire or curtain ring. line. Curtain oh, line. Yun. Curtain rod. Isa lang yun eh, di ba? Isa lang rod, yun yung rod, rod, rod. Papatuwa. Yung rod, yes, yes, the rod, the rod. Usually, isa lang yun. So, ang problema ng iba, kaya hindi sila makapaglagay ng share curtain tsaka ng blackout curtain is because... Isa lang yun. Oh, isa lang. So, ang gagawin mm. mo lang, may mga nabibili ngayon sa mga sukang tindahan na yung rod na extend siya. Yeah. So, pwede mo lang siya ipatong doon sa likod. Uh, Patong mo lang sa doon sa likod, tapos tuturo ko sa yung technique. Eh. Na siya. So, para mo kapag sa lahat. Kailangan namin yan. Uh, yeah. yeah. Ganyan din sa akin, ganyan din sa akin. Doble. Yung isa maiksi lang, para din yung shear, tapos yung isa mas mahaba, doon yung Correct. blackout. Uh, ang sasal naman pala ng bahay ni JL. Ano yan? Tinuro sa akin ng nanay ko. O, oh, ba? Diba? Mm-hmm. Tapos, kung gusto niyo mag-design ng bahay, para lang may konting accent, may konting accent doon sa bahay niyo, lagyan niyo ng konting pampahalaman. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> si Fox, si Happy Plants. Happy Plants Manila. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, para lang, wala lang, para pagdating mo, okay. medyo, feeling mo nasa hotel ka, oh. or feeling mo, di ba? Pwede mo bang i-share kung ano yung amoy hotel? Kasi, hindi na... <laughs> Okay, isa pa yan, isa pa yan. Pinahap ko yun eh, yung hotel. Kasi ba, nag-ano ko lang, nag-essential oils ka, mga ko. Mm. Iba pa rin pagka pumasok ka sa hotel, kahit sabihin mo may amoy yosi, alam mo yung amoy oh. hotel, masarap matulog. Alam mo, yan, good, 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 good question yan ah. Um, na-realize ko na important yung smell sa room because, kasi parang ako, lumaki na, rin, lumaki na ako sa hotel, everyday nasa hotel ka, alam mo yung pangit, alam mo yung maganda. Ang advice ko lang, I think, may mga humidifier na mga mura lang ngayon, di ba? Tapos, sa online, online mayroong mga nag, ano, mayroong mga nagbibenta na, let's say, name ng hotel, tapos yun yung scent. Mga parang replica. Okay. I tried once. I tried once. It smells good, ah. It's not bad at all. Pero kasi mga hotels na yan, um, especially pag mga five-star brand, um, they, they go na for, ano eh, for medyo salahan din na, ano, na perfume uh... brands. May mga, may mga connection with Chanel, Gary, Chanel lang, ano. with Chanel, mm-hmm. with um, tawag dito, uh, Joe Malone. So, yung these, these, these um, international uh, manufacturing mga perfume, they have these ano, connections with the hotels. But if medyo, syempre tayo, ano lang naman tayo, low-key lang tayo, budget-friendly tayo. So pwede na tayo dun sa mga Facebook market. Punta ka lang Facebook mo, search ka dun. At least naman yung uh, pagpikit ko, at saka yung pagpikit ko, at saka pagpatay ko ng ilaw, parang... May mm. extra ano eh, may extra layer of ambient smell. Oh. Ano. Correct. And you don't have to spend more. Ah. This is what I've been ano, telling my friends kasi these are the common questions I ask. I mean, I've uh, these are the usual com- uh, these are the common questions that my friends are asking me whenever we meet ganyan or pupunta sila sa place ko ganyan or oh, ano yung amoy ng ano, ano yung amoy mo sa kwarto? Bakit ang hotel? <laughs> Hindi mura lang 'yan. Ano lang 'yan, research lang. Tapos, yung mga bintana, bakit gano'n yung itsura, or yung kama, bakit ganyan. And you know, yun nga, like what I've mentioned, don't have to spend more yung mga mandawi foam na very friendly. I'm sure mag-sponsor yun kasi minensyon na natin na yun. Ayun, baka <laughs> naman. <laughs> Oo. Diba? Uh, mandawi foam. Oo. Yung mga, yan, yung mga mandawi foam, pwede na yung ganyan. Tapos, agyan mo lang ng salahan na mattress topper 
na mga 3 inches or 2 inches, it feels amazing when pag sige, matutulog sige, ka. Sige, sige. Ano yung namin yung topper na yan? Yeah. You have to, you have to do, I mean, you have to get that. Yeah. Especially pag may katabi ka, ang sarap. Yun! <laughs> nung katabi o nung topper? Ano ba? <laughs> Sasabihin so, ko sana, mag-e-enjoy, ano mag-e-enjoy, eh. Mag-e-enjoy kayo ng kasama mo sa kama. Ayun. Yung, 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 yung amoy na may balak, yung ganun. Uh, ganun. <laughs> Gulat siya. Ang lambot ng kama natin, parang kahit na ilang beses tayo mag... Mag-ano, coffee. Sa, ano? Coffee, oh, coffee, 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 mag-wine. Yeah. Yeah. Tapos yeah. spend din, ha, for very important. Ako, kasi I make sure kapag ano, kapag yung place mo, maliit lang, ano lang yan eh, um, tawag dito, kailangan all-in-one yan. So sa kwarto mo, nandun na yung TV mo, nandun na lahat, di ba? <laughs> So, kailangan entertainment room na rin siya. So, you have to invest na rin for a good TV na... Correct. Ano, or speaker, para Netflix and chill. Para pag may bisita ka, very important yun. Pag may bisita ka, especially if you're single, if you want to bring someone over, you're gonna win him or her over also. Yun. Mga yeah, single yun tips din pala to. Relationship advice din pala. <laughs> na, uh, pahaba to lalo pagka ano. Pero uh, uh, Bill, thank you. Uh, nag-enjoy kami. As in, ang dami natin tutunan. Ang dami natin tutunan. F- oh. feeling, ko, feeling ko marami pang trade secrets. Eh. We can always have a second uh, part of this hospitality intensity. And we right. focus on gano'n na lang. Doon sa mga trade secrets. Feeling ko oh. uh, mali saan. Oh, Mag-shopee pa ako. Eh. By the way, uh, hindi, hindi nakwento siguro ni Bill kanina. Uh, he's also a uh, events designer, how do you call it? Ba? And uh, no, uh, uh, he designs stuff. So uh, uh, if, if if you have something, busy, busy, want, busy, busy. Uh, no, no. Mm-hmm. the bill can can do his stuff. And uh, no. uh, do you want to promote it? Uh, ikaw, ikaw mas better. Go ahead, promote Bill. It. Oh. Okay, it, give it a time. You know what pandemic taught me? Because yun nga like. Um, pag hotel hotelier ka kasi you're exposed to ano eh you're exposed to maganda and you're exposed to not really maganda na stuff di ba especially for yung itsura ng event hall ganyan and I only realized that na ano pala na kaya ko siyang gawin the design was just last year last November lang when I had a couple na ano na friends na they were looking for stylists and they were having hard time to look Years because it was pandemic and they still had to postpone with their wedding. So, sabi ko, try ko nga, baka kaya naman natin, basta give lang the budget, di ba? So, sabi ko, tignan natin kung ano magagawa. Eventually, eventually after that, I have series of friends, ha? I have series of friends sa mga kinakasal na nagugulat ako kasi ang ganda ng outcome. <laughs> I mean, I'm not bragging. I mean, I'm not doing it for business. I'm doing it for fun, for everyone's information. I'm not doing it for business. I'm doing it for fun. Kung cute po kayong dalawang couple, let me know. I'm gonna help you out. So, yun. Magand- In fairness naman, I think nakita naman ni Iman yung ibang mga design ko last oh, time. So, sobrang, sobrang ganda. As in, feeling ko naman po magugustuhan nyo. So, let me know po. Kahit coffee yung, lang yung po. Yung tipong gusto namin ulit magpakasal. Para... <laughs> oh, yun. <yeah. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> isang JD lang po yan. Isang JD. Uh, yun. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yun. Bombing with A lang yun. Bombing with A. Oh. Bombing with A lang yun. Grabe, grabe, grabe yun. <laughs> so, gusto mo, feeling ko may isang episode para doon sa kwento ni Bilton sa Bombing with A experience. <laughs> Papadalhan siya ni Bombing with A, actually. Oo, oh, so, papadalhan siya ni Bombing. Ano po, room, ano po tayo, Sir A, dito po tayo sa I'm Hotel. Ito po yung room number. PM ko po sa inyo. Ang sarap daw, ang sarap daw. Oo, oh, di ba? Sabi sa'yo. It's the best, it's the best I've ever tasted. Uh, you know, life changing. Yes, and it, I mean, I'm talking about a hot, as a hotelier, ah, because of course, we're exposed to drinks, we're exposed to a lot of, you know, different cocktails and all. It's one of the best cocktails I've ever I know I've ever tasted and it made me wasted though <laughs> <laughs> it made me yeah, legit wasted. made you bomb oh, yes uh, bomb ka lang. anyway thank you thank you Bill uh, we learned a lot uh, padala ka namin ng ano from Boss A yan uh, uh, wow makarating yung message mo eh, Boss A uh, and of course I would like to thank uh, Bill so, uh Dami talaga na tutunan, wala akong masabi, pare. As in, uh, even the ITF regulations and stuff, and the trade secrets, actually exciting. Um, uh, dami pang pwede natin pag-usapan eh. 
uh, but I don't have that much time. But thank you, thank you, Bill. Uh, but thank before you. we go, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to Bad Boys FP page and YouTube channel. And to our sponsors, uh, last sponsors lang. Si Happy Plants Manila, nabanggit ni Bill kanina. Okay lang nyo ng oh. plantito-plantito dyan para... Right, um, oh, sa bahay, no? Uh, spice up yung living room nyo. So let uh, let uh, Sir Ray know. So Happy Plants Manila, just contact Sir 977-184-2598. So uh, mga plants yan, okay? Then of course, Leah Pure. Kitang kita naman sa mga ating mga kutis until now. Bawat episode. <laughs> Official skincare provider namin yan, Bill, for the Bayat Boys. No? So, Baka naman po. Sa oh, provider. why not? Why not? Oh, <laughs> uh, Ginawa ka namin ng Leah Pure. Check out leahpure.com to order from right. their uh, wide selection of skin products. So, depende yan sa ano. AM and PM, ano yan. Uh, right. And ano, vegan and organic can. So, and, oh, nice. Uh, very safe for your skin. So, Uh, check out Leah Pure's website and Facebook page for me. Hashtag Hey Baby. Uh, <laughs> all right. Thank you, guys. It's been a really, really uh, solid, solid uh, informative ep- episode and fun episode. Thank you, Bill. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Thank you, Iman, for having me here. JL, Carlo, it's nice to meet you guys no, here. I had same, fun. Same. I, I, had, I had so much fun tonight. I hope uh, you can invite me still for the next episode. Ah, why not? <laughs> why not? You can always join. Yeah. Maraming pa, maraming pa tayong maraming pa tayong mag-usapan. Uy, pwede ba mag-follow? What naman? Oh! Wala. No problem. All right, follow po na IG guys. My IG is Bill the Master Debater. So <laughs> that's that's my IG po. Uh, sa Facebook po, just uh, search my name. My name is Daniel Bill. My Daniel is the girl's Daniel, apparently. So Daniel Bill, that's my name po. So you can add me. Let's you know chat and malay mo. Yan. Yan. <laughs> 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 Daniel Bill pala. <laughs> and also, don't forget to like and subscribe sa bed. Yes. Alright. Thank you. Peace out. Thank you.